Hello everybody and welcome back to Amateur Astronomy and Storm Tracing. Thank you guys all so much for joining me on what right now is a really windy, blustery, cloudy day here in Middle Tennessee. But fingers crossed that changes here over the next couple of hours. Because tonight we have a huge astronomical event happening. Tonight's event is the first of its kind in some 800 years. Jupiter and Saturn are only going to be separated by a tenth of a degree in the night sky, which basically they're going to be right on top of one another whenever you're looking at them. Some people are calling this the Christmas star. I'm just going to have to wait and see really what it's going to look like. When the evening sky towards the west, Jupiter and Saturn are pretty much going to be right on top of each other, appearing as a really bright object in the night sky. Tonight, I'm going to be using the same simple setup that I used in so many videos before on this channel. I'm going to be using my Skywatcher 8 inch Dobsonian telescope. And I'm going to be using my Canon T5i camera to attach to this telescope to get the videos with. To attach the camera to this telescope, I'm just going to be using a Canon T ring. On top of attaching the camera to the telescope with just the T ring, I'm also going to be using a T adapter to allow me to use both my 2x and my 3x bottle lens to attach my camera to my scope with as, as well that way we can get a little bit closer look at this conjunction so happy that that has worked out as you can see around me here there's nothing but absolutely beautiful crystal clear blue skies all around and even looking at the cloud cover radar there's nothing around for the foreseeable future this is one of the few times on this channel that the clouds have actually worked in my favor so <laughs> i couldn't have picked a better night for that so now all i gotta do really is wait till sunset and get the show on the road but one last thing before we get the show started if you haven't yet please be sure to subscribe down below. I really appreciate having each and every one of you guys here to follow along on this adventure. Knowing that there's so many of you guys out there that just enjoy watching what I absolutely love to do, man, there's no other feeling like it. And just thank you to all you guys again for all being here. Just as I mentioned earlier in the video, first I'm just going to be using just my T-ring, attaching it to my T5i. If I get that to screw on correctly, there we go. Directly to the T5i, I'm going to attach that directly to the telescope here, just by screwing it on to the focuser. Now not all Dobsonians, to my knowledge anyways, has these threads on the outside of the two inch focuser here, allowing you to directly connect uh, the camera with the T-ring onto it. But man, the Skywatcher Dobsonian here, that makes this so much easier. All right, that should be that. Now, let's go ahead and get some foliage. One thing that I want to mention before I really get started on this is that this setup right here is by no means an astrophotography setup or a planetary imaging setup. It's all manual. I have to move everything by hand. As you're going to see in the videos, the planets are going to be floating through the frame and I have to move the telescope by hand to keep up with them. So what you're going to see here is really just going to give you a, a really rough uh, idea of what you're going to be able to see through the eyepiece. And what you're going to see through the eyepiece is significantly better than what you're going to see on the video. Because for the most part in the videos, uh, I'll say whenever I'm using it, but I'm using the, like the digital zoom and everything like that. And of course, the images in the video is being compressed and all that good stuff. But uh, yeah, hopefully this should just give you guys a good idea of what you can see through this telescope here. 
by no means is it the greatest thing ever, but man, you can see some pretty cool stuff through it. Now this right here is just the native 1200 millimeter focal length of the Dobsonian telescope. Um, of course, we'll go in closer with bottle lenses, but you can see right here, Jupiter and Saturn really close to one another. I'm gonna go ahead and use the digital zoom now on the camera and zoom in, and right there, you see Jupiter and Saturn, along with some of its moons right there floating through. Let's see. If I turn down the exposure some, you can actually see some of the detail right there on Jupiter. So let's go ahead and zoom back in here and find Saturn. Right there. Right there you can see Saturn floating around. This is something else, both of them being right there in the frame together. Never would I have thought of seeing something like this through this telescope. But here we are. Now I'll just go ahead and show you some of the raw video with just this setup right here. And then I'll go in and put in my 2X bottle lens and see what we can get with that. Now earlier, just like I mentioned, I'm gonna take the T adapter and attach it directly to the T ring already on the camera. And then we'll use our 2X bottle lens here and attach that to the end of the T adapter. Okay, here we are now with the 2X bottle lens on. And you see we're definitely much, much closer in this time. This is at 2,400 millimeters. Go in here and zoom in and look at Jupiter. And still you can make out some of the moons right there. I'll go in and adjust the exposure again here in a little bit so you can kind of see. Let's see. Now they've got the 2x bottle out of the way go ahead and pop in the three now as you can probably see this uh 3x bottle setup is uh quite funky looking hanging off the side of the can uh, the telescope right here but so far it makes do thankfully with the sky watcher you can actually tighten it up that way it doesn't uh sag or anything whenever you put a load like this on it so far it's worked out for me so we'll go ahead and give it another shot tonight okay now this is with the 3x attached this is no digital zoom on the camera whatsoever. You can see they just barely fit in the frame together. This is at 3600 millimeter focal length right here. At this point, they're starting to get pretty low on the horizon here, so I think that's kind of causing a lot of the haziness whenever I zoom in up close. So I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, show you guys some of the raw video straight from the camera itself. Now 
I bumped up the ISO some so that you can make out some of the moons. And that pretty much wraps it up for the Christmas tar guys. Already it is starting to set over here behind the trees on my western horizon. So we only had just a small window and thankfully again we had clear skies for it. It was really cool to see. That's that was something. Uh hopefully we'll see tomorrow night. I may possibly get my other setup out. Now it's a really wide field, so I don't know what I'll be able to get. But I'd like to kind of experiment around with it and uh just to kind of see what happens. Um, yeah, that should pretty well do it. Like I mentioned earlier, please be sure to subscribe down below if you like what you see. And as always, thank you guys all so, so much for watching. I hope you have a safe, happy holidays, and I hope you enjoy it.